what's up everyone and welcome to your seventh jquery tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be looking at some cool event methods in jquery now event methods are kind of actions to the selectors and basically by that what i mean is for instance you want to do something with body uh, like when whenever someone hovers over your body <laughs> or let's create a div to give it a clean meaning uh, let's say div id hello just a simple div with hello world let's say somebody when hovers over this div with the mouse then what happens is he gets an alert box so to achieve that we have event methods in jquery so let's go to our script file which we have included as an external script after the jquery and let's edit this so let's wait for the document to become ready and let's go ahead and do use our first event handler so to select hello we'll use the or basically let's just go with div right now as i haven't explained the selectors right now to you so let's just go and type div and this means select div on the document this line down here means and what we want to all of these divs uh, we want to add event handler click which on on clicked gives us an alert of what you doing bro and uh, this means that on any of the div click what you have to do is alert this or basically run this code inside this function so let's reload the page and i guess we already got this let's reload and on clicking this we get what you doing bro simple enough and let's move on to our next event handler which are uh, which is double click now double click as the name suggests dbl click this event fires now instead of a single click fires when we double click on the element so when I double click on this element I get what you doing bro okay simple enough click and double click I hope I'm clear whenever these events are fired then this code runs down here I hope I'm not going too fast now the next thing I would like to discuss is the key up and key down events and for that I'll need an input type box so let's say input type text and that's it for now because I haven't explained you selectors very well so I'll just use minimal HTML with jQuery so input dot key up now if you guessed it right that what it will do is this event would fire whenever a user presses its key over the input box so let's say I want to alert wow you could type robo so this alert this code would execute whenever there's a key up or basically your finger lifts up after pressing a key so let's say I write the letter M okay I guess I haven't reload this uh, let's check for the syntax as well the syntax looks perfect reload M so we get an alert box JavaScript alert says wow you could type robo and let's say I type another letter N I get another alert box but what if I keep uh, pressing a key and don't release it so unless I don't release it this event would not fire because this is a key up event and this would only fire when I'll release this key L and let's do it so as soon as I release this key this event is fired and we get an alert uh, an alert box so as you can see it takes even the delete keys and other backspace and all the keys which are not even characters as input so the next thing we'll have to discuss is the key down one the key down one in opposite to key up fires whenever you press the key so basically it would fire as soon as you press the key and would not wait for the key to be released so as you can see this would fire 
each time I press the key instead of releasing it. So I could not actually keep pressing the key because JavaScript alert won't let me do that. Cool. Now the next thing I would like to discuss with you is the hover one. Now this hover one is special because it would accept two functions and I'll explain you why. This is because in hover function we have basically two states the first state where the user is hovering over the element and the next state where the user basically navigates his mouse from the element so now the user is hovering and now he's not hovering not hovering not so we need two functions to run whenever the user hovers over the element and whenever uh, he is not hovering or basically he quits from the state of hovering so let's say in the first state we do alert or let's say just console log to make the things cleaner you just forward pal and here let's say console log you are leaving me or maybe are you leaving me not bad so let's check the console now and here you go now on hover it gives us you just hover pal on leave it says are you leaving me hover leave hover leave hover leave hover leave and you can do that all day if you want to so this was our first tutorial on event handlers in javascript and in the next tutorial we'll be discussing more about event handlers in javascript so stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching